Hey everyone. So let's say if you have an image file like this one and you would like to change the color of this image or icon to a specific color, let's say this, how do you do that? Well, there are a bunch of different ways you can do this. Of course, you can open this image into an image editing software like Photoshop or Pixlr and you can try to change the color manually and then save this file again as image file and try to use this. This would work fine. However, every time you want to change the color, you would have to do this process manually. So that's not very time efficient. What I would like to do is convert this image into a PowerPoint vector or PowerPoint shape like this then be able to change the color of this to any color I want. So for example, if I go to home, pick the eyedropper, I can change the color of this icon to any other color. I can even change the transparency if I want. I can add borders. I can do many things. So how do we do that? So for this, we need Adobe Illustrator. I know Adobe Illustrator is not a free software. However, if you have it, converting images into PowerPoint vectors would be a lot easier. So I have Illustrator open here. I have also opened the PNG icon file that you saw here into a blank Adobe document. All you need to do is click on the image. At the top, you have an option called Image Trace. Click on that. After that, there is one more option you need to click. It's called Expand. Let me click that. Now what Illustrator has done is it has traced the image and converted the image into individual shapes that you can manipulate individually. Now we don't need to get into that here. All we need to do now is go to file menu and click on export. Click on export as. Save this image as a .emf file or enhanced meta file. I'm saving this on my desktop. Once that's saved, let's go back to PowerPoint. Let's open a new slide and go to insert. Let me go to desktop again. Here's my image. Let's double click that. Let me enlarge this a bit so you can see. Now the next step is you have to ungroup this image. So you can right click, click on group, click on ungroup. It'll show you a message. You can ignore that. Just click on yes. Do the same process again. Once you have done that, now you have these individual shapes that you can edit within PowerPoint. So if I go to shapes, I have my color here and there. You should be able to now change this icon to any color that you want. One thing I would like to point out is that after you ungroup, PowerPoint creates throwaway shapes in, in the background. So like you'll notice here, let me color them so that, so that you can see. So it creates these couple of additional shapes in the background. So you will need to delete that like so. And after that, you can just group your icon so that it becomes a single icon and you can edit that within PowerPoint using shape fills and borders and other effects. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe for future videos.